Google Ads vs. Facebook Ad If you only have a small budget for digital advertising, where should you put your money? Most e-commerce businesses have to choose between Facebook Ads and Google Ads when it comes to advertising on social media. If you want your online store to really grow, you should ask yourself which one to scale more than the other. There's no one answer that works for everyone. Your path will depend on the details of your business and the goals you want to reach. We'll help you figure out which strategy will work best for you in this video. But before we start our video, it would mean a lot to us if you subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. So, how should you combine these platforms in your plan for marketing your e-commerce business? Here's the main stuff. Facebook Ads Goal You can, and should, aim for conversions with Facebook and Instagram ads, but brand awareness is the best main goal for these sites. If you just started a business or sell unique products, there may not be any relevant keywords and search volume for your Google Pay Per Click PPC, ads to target yet. But once a customer has seen your social media ad, they will usually look for your brand on Google, where your organic and paid results will show up. Because of this, you can use ads on Facebook and Instagram to make people search for your brand more. Strategy If you're new to social media advertising, put your money into these campaigns first. Awareness These campaigns show your ads to new people based on what your best customers like and what kind of people they are. Look alike Facebook can create a group of people who look like your website visitors, Facebook fans, email subscribers, or a list of contacts you upload. Engagement these campaigns send remarketing ads to people who have already interacted with your brand as customers on social media, your website, or your email newsletter. This plan is called the see, think, do method. Instead of focusing on just one stage of the buyer's journey, you can use these different targeting options to retarget users who have already shown interest, to help move them toward a conversion. And increase brand awareness by looking for new customers who are similar to your current shoppers. This method helps your campaigns reach more qualified prospects, which means you waste less of your budget on people who aren't as likely to be interested. Google Ads Google Ads, which used to be called Google AdWords, is a great way to reach people who are actively looking for your brand and the products you sell, so you can get them to buy right away. Your Google Ads campaigns, on the other hand, are meant to turn people who are already interested in your brand or products into sales. Strategy you can direct and measure your Google search ads and shopping ads toward people who are ready to buy by. 1. Bidding high on keywords that are directly related to your own brand and products. 2. How to improve the visibility of your Google shopping product feed. 3. Putting money into remarketing campaigns to catch people at every step of the buying process. Four, bid high for branded search campaigns. Whether your e-commerce store is well known or just starting out, your Google search ad should have campaigns that aggressively target searches for your brand. Why? These campaigns go after search terms that people are using to look for your brand and products. If you own your brand on Google's ad platform, these interested customers can quickly and easily find their way to your online store. Google ads is a free market, so competitors can bid on your brand name to try to catch people who are looking for you. This won't happen if you own your own keywords in Google Ads. Optimize your product data feed. No matter how much you spend on your Google Shopping campaigns, your product data feed needs to be as optimized as possible so that your products show up as high as possible in search results. This is important for both paid and unpaid listings on Google Shopping. Run remarketing campaigns. This last step is the most important, especially if you want your Facebook ads and Google ads campaigns to work well together. By sharing customer data across both platforms, you can create an actionable remarketing target audience and follow up with high potential customers. Choosing the products, Google versus Facebook. How certain products will do on different channels is an important, but sometimes overlooked, part of paid advertising. Not all e-commerce products are made to be advertised on social media sites. If you don't test your products or at least think about how they look, you'll probably be disappointed with the results of your campaign. Best Performers in Social Media Ads 
because photo and video are so important on social networks, the best things to advertise on Facebook and Instagram ads are often things that can be seen, like clothes and beauty products. These fit well in many places, like the organic news feed, stories, reels, and more. Best performers in Google Ads Google Ads can also be a great way to market products that are easy to see. But, in general, Google Ads are best at getting people to buy products that are 1. More expensive 2. Less beautiful to look at in nature 3. More thought and a longer path to purchase Focusing on Google search and shopping ads can help you sell things like appliances, home improvements, and travel. That's because people who are likely to buy these kinds of products go straight to Google's search engine when they are shopping for them. So, that's it for today. If you still have questions, please leave a comment below and our team will do its best to address them as quickly as possible. You may get all the latest information by pressing the bell icon and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.